this is one of the hard moments. Mo- morning today is very hard for me. It's really hard. It's very, very hard today. I did not want to get on this live this morning, but I'm, I'm trying to be obedient. much pain in my heart right now because I really don't I don't know what to do I feel alone because no one really understands what I'm going through right now Chad, I want to confess all my wrongdoings. I used to be a sex phone operator because of my soft voice. But I didn't cheat and I loved it. That's how we started the sex skit on this channel. Before we became the dream team, I searched for people's address and gave it to Uncle Ruckus. I didn't know that he was going to post it on his public platform and threaten harm to anyone. I am going to be transparent. I posted Angelo Clary's address on YouTube, but didn't know that some dude was going to blow his real car and house up. The guy is sick. I sent a picture of my left boob to Demetrius. I was trying to flirt and get him to tell me the truth about R. Kelly. I am not blameless but I was a loyal friend to Uncle Ruckus. I never recorded him and did not know he was recording me. So now I am turning to God and will have morning prayer to free R. Kelly. I am getting old. I got out the bed and had chest pains. I looked down and realized I was standing on my nipples. You know you are getting old when your family buys you a birthday cake with one candle. It's like they want to see if you can blow it out. Why am I getting older and wider instead of older and wiser? Don't let aging get you down. It's too hard to get back up. You know you're getting old when the candles cost more than the cake keep the motor running. It was this stir of the town when an 80-year-old man married a 20-year-old girl. After a year she went into the hospital to give birth. The nurse came out to congratulate the man. This is amazing. How do you do it at your age? He answered, you've got to keep that old motor running. The following year she gave birth again. The same nurse said, you really are amazing. How do you do it? He again said, you've got to keep the old motor running. The same thing happened the next year. The nurse said, you must be quite a man. He responded, you've got to keep that old motor running. The nurse then said, well, you had better change the oil, this one's black. While acquainting myself with a new elderly patient, I asked, how long have you been bedridden? After a look of complete confusion she answered, Why, not for about 20 years, when my husband was alive. 30 years later, a couple gets married, and 30 years later they are in the same hotel, in the same room. She takes off all her clothes, lies back on the bed, and spreads her legs. Her husband starts to cry. She says, What's the matter? He says, 30 years ago I couldn't wait to eat it. Now it looks like it can't wait to eat me. Almost love. A 70-year-old man has never been married. One day, he meets a beautiful 17-year-old girl, and it is love at first sight. They get married and go to Florida for their honeymoon. When they get back, his friend says to him, So, tell me, how was it? Oh, it was beautiful, says the man. The sun, the surf. We made love almost every night, we his friend interrupts him. A man your age. How did you make love almost every night? Oh, says the man, we almost made love Monday, we almost made love Tuesday. Chad I was just trying to lighten the mood, but seriously we need to focus on getting R. Kelly free and drop the YouTube drama. Let's have R. Kelly trivia night on this channel. We can bring everything we know about him and have fun that way. I know R. Kelly's favorite food is cheeseburgers from McDonald's.
and R. Kelly's favorite place to meet his teen victims is the Rock and Roll McDonald's in Chicago. He even made a McDonald's replica with underage girls in it waiting for him. Remember R. Kelly has court on September 29th, and we need to send prayers of safe travels for Kevin, Christopher and all the other fake supporters who will be traveling there for a cash up. It's a few weeks before R. Kelly trial and my subscribers ain't cash at me, what they think my services are for free, when negros go to church to hear a sermon and at the end a plate is passed around, niggas donating to the church, so they can pay me, YouTube is my job and I got bills to pay damn it, I got rent for my apartment, I got to pay my hookers, I got lights, cable, gas, my subs know they have to send cash app so I can go to New York to fake support R. Kelly, I ain't coming no more until y'all pay me, fuck y'all. Y'all get them likes up now damn it. Hit my motherfucking cash app these bills don't pay themselves. I got some recordings to play but I'm not playing them till y'all get them likes up. It's about Bozo and you don't want to miss this. Bozo did some informant shit and I am gonna play it here for you. Y'all in the chat I am driving but get team truth up out of here. Get them out my chat. Poor preacher. A poor minister was having trouble managing his church. The income was pitiful, the plumbing rattled, the roof leaked. The air conditioning didn't work, and the church didn't have the funds for any repairs. The minister got a brilliant idea. He bought a book about hypnosis, and read it from cover to cover. At the next service, he took out a watch and chain, swung it back and forth, and lulled the congregation into a hypnotic trance. He said, I want everybody to walk down the aisle and put $20 in the plate. They did, and he had the church's roof fixed that week. This worked so well that the next Sunday he decided to do it again. Taking his watch out, he proclaimed, I want everybody to come down the aisle and drop $100 in the offering plate, they did, and he got the air conditioning fixed and the parking lot redone. His third Sunday, he got to thinking, I haven't been paid in a long time, I deserve a little money, he started swinging his watch again, and he thought, I deserve a lot more than a little bit of money, I deserve enough to go overseas and have a cottage on the beach. I deserve a lot more, he got so excited about what he was fixing to receive, that his hands started to sweat and as the watch slipped from his grip, he yelled, shit, it took him two weeks to air out the church, yo bozo, yo mama so poor, she hangs the toilet paper out to dry, yo mama is so poor that when I ask her what's for dinner tonight she lit her pocket on fire and said, hot pocket, yo mama so poor, when she goes to the park, the pigeons throw her bread, you mama so poor she can't even afford to pay attention, they need Motherfucker come, they just gotta come. I gotta push back for them. I ain't gotta show no guns. I ain't gotta show no bullets. I ain't gotta do none of that shit. Get in, get in front of this space. 
Get, get right here in front of this space. And I gotta give you that pushback. You gonna get pushed the fuck back. All that internet shit, I ain't with none of this. I ain't with none of this. I ain't scared of no feds, no FBI, no Homeland Security, you or you or you. Let a motherfucker pull up. Niggas wanna sit up there. Wanna sit up there. I can't stand Bozo. Everything is Bozo's fault. Why can't I get Bozo off YouTube? I had my subscribers call his job to report him having a gun, and he's still working. I teamed up with his former best friend in the dream team but he's doesn't care. I made false police reports on him and he's not in jail. I can't get rid of Bozo, he gets to talk to Doug Anton, he has much more subscribers, he got slow people over there. Can't wait to see him in New York, it's on, let me try to change the subject. Lord Kanye, what's the difference between Kanye West and God? God doesn't think that he's Kanye. A man goes to a psychiatrist. To start things off, the psychiatrist suggests they start with a Rorschach test. He holds up the first picture and asks the man what he sees. A man and a woman making love in a park. The man replies. The psychiatrist holds up the second picture and asks the man what he sees. A man and a woman making love in a boat. He holds up the third picture. A man and a woman making love at the beach. This goes on for the rest of the set of pictures. The man says he sees a man and a woman making love in every one of the pictures. At the end of the test, the psychiatrist looks over his notes and says, it looks like you have a preoccupation with sex. And the man replies, well, you're the one with the dirty pictures. R. Kelly goes to court. What does R. Kelly have in common with Malaysian Airlines? They both think they can fly. Why was it so hard to get out of R. Kelly's sex cult? Because once you're in, you're in. R. Kelly has been denied bail the judge believed he was a flight risk. What has R. Kelly done more successfully than any other musician, using A minor? R. Kelly has made a song denying any sexual misconduct charges that lasts 19 minutes which is unusual because he usually insists on 18 or under. What is R. Kelly's favorite sandwich, P and BJ? What does R. Kelly call people below him, peons? R. Kelly has been charged with sexual abuse so he guess there was something wrong with that bump and grind. I ran into R. Kelly while he was filling out a March Madness bracket he was picking primarily the 14s and 15s turns out he's really into number one too. Wiss is R. Kelly excited by all this cold weather, he kept hearing it was gonna be in the teens. How does R. Kelly respond when girls ask for a rating on a 10 scale, urinate? The first thing out of my mouth when I was very abruptly and rudely woken up by my neighbor blaring trapped in the closet. Ugh, that's the second worst way to be woken up by R. Kelly. R. Kelly went from being trapped in a closet to being trapped in a courtroom. Can't wait for the sequel, Trapped in a Jail Cell. What do Trump and R. Kelly have in common? Golden showers. R. Kelly has always been an important player for the rap game he's the man behind the bars. I thought surviving R. Kelly was the name of his next album boy was I pleasantly mistaken. R. Kelly has passed away. Rest in peace. It was a big year for pedophile movies. Surviving R. Kelly, Finding Neverland, Two Popes. In his autobiography, Sal Coaster, The Diary of Me, R. Kelly writes about his days working part-time as a stripper. His uniform consisted of a Darth Vader mask, a robe, and little patent leather drawers. The money as a stripper was great, apparently, but as he wrote, the male stripper industry was controlled by bid. Time thugs who weren't about to put up with some freelance kid dressed up as Darth Vader cutting into their profit, so he didn't last long. Getting back to Bozo, I am going to have the niggas page striped for no reason. He think he's somebody and he's a nobody. I go to sleep and wake up with this nigga on my mind. Can't stop thinking about Bozo. Let me call into Sly Fox page so that I can talk about him more. Bozo 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 Bozo. Let's say it again Bozo. Welcome back Debo. Glad to be back. Why are you so disrespectful on YouTube? Because I am a real nigga. Real recognize real. I already had a fucking page. I already had my own mind, my own determination. And you just said that. You just confirmed that after saying, well, people introduce you on platforms and that's how people know you. But I was with you way before that. I was with you when I didn't even see what you looked like. So if you was with me uh, when you couldn't, when people didn't even see what I looked like, you should know 
out of all people that I don't owe none of these motherfuckers nothing. Period. And I was his subscriber. And one thing I'm saying about the Bowski gun at that time, I really enjoyed his work. But right now, I don't know what he turned into. You want to know what I turned into? I turned into a man that's been slandered. I turned into a man that's uh, now somebody that they're trying to put in motions and indictments. I turned into a man... Why do you treat women in this way? Let me tell you something classy you rottweiler looking bitch. I am my own man and can say what the fuck I want. Ain't DJ you boy? Man DJ so little I can put that little motherfucker in my book bag. He's my man but that nigga short. You two have a lot in common. You're the criminals. Disrespect women. As for you, you like to call women dog head bitches. I think you like my jawline why are you talking about it? Listen I got T-Baby and everyone else is a bitch. Aren't you 20 years her senior? Don't worry when she grows up she will leave you. Then you'll add her to the bitch list. I uh, turned into a man that was doxxed, threatened, lied on. I turned into a man who message was taken away from my association with people I barely even fucking knew. When I was just a man sitting in my car with the same opinion that I have today, the only difference is I don't give a fuck who respect it, I'm still going to give it to you. That's the only difference. I turned into a motherfucker that's not going to let somebody bully me. I turned into a motherfucker that's not going to sit back and act as if I have to be professional for some shit that I'm not getting paid for, all right? I don't work for Robert Sylvester Kelly. I turned into a man that wouldn't let people direct me in my commentary. I turned to a man that wouldn't let people that won't come to a protest, haven't contributed to anything, uh, is not going to put their physical uh, presence on anything, uh, physical support in anything. Why are you so focused on people's support? Because ain't no honor in ripping a pedophile. Have to get something out of this. I ain't getting paid so I have to pay myself. A man and his money. There was a man who had worked all of his life had saved all of his money, and was a real miser when it came to his money. He loved money more than just about anything. Just before he died, he said to his wife, Now listen, when I die, I want you to take all my money and put it in the casket with me. I want to take my money to the afterlife with me. He made her promise with all her heart that when he died, she would put all of the money in the casket with him. Well, he died. He was stretched out in the casket, his wife was sitting there in black, and her friend was sitting next to her. When they finished the ceremony, just before the undertakers got ready to close the casket, the wife said, wait just a minute she had a box with her, she came over with the box and put it in the casket, then the undertakers locked the casket down, and they rolled it away, so her friend said, girl, I know you weren't fool enough to put all that money in there with your husband she said, listen, I'm a Christian, I can't go back on my word, I promised him that I was gonna put that money in that casket with him, you mean to tell me you really put that money in the casket with him, I sure did, said the wife. I wrote him a check, never underestimate the intelligence of a woman. We're intelligent, I'll give you that. Collection man, the mafia was looking for a new man to make weekly collections from all the private businesses they were protecting. Feeling the heat from the police force, they decide to use a deaf person for this job if he were to get caught. He wouldn't be able to communicate to the police what he was doing well. On his first week, the deaf collector picks up over $40,000, but he gets greedy, decides to keep the money and stashes it in a safe place. The Mafia soon realizes that their collection is late, and sends some of their hoods after the deaf collector. The hoods find him and drag the guy to an interpreter. The Mafia hood says to the interpreter, ask him where da money is the interpreter signs, where's the money the deaf man replies, I don't know what you're talking about, the interpreter tells the hood, he says he doesn't know what you're talking about, the hood pulls out a .38 and places it in the ear of the deaf collector. Now ask him where the money is the interpreter signs, where is the money the deaf man replies, the $40,000 is in a tree stump in Central Park, the interpreter says to the hood, he says he still doesn't know what you're talking about, and doesn't think you have the balls to pull the trigger. Well that's called Dumboski. Cheap one. To an old man and his son had a one horse farm where they barely made a living. Then, one day, the son hit the lottery and won $50,000. The young man rushed into town, collected his money, then hurried back home. He ran across the field, told his father the news, and handed the older man a $50 bill. The father looked at the money for a moment and then said, Son, you know I've always been careful with what little money we had. I didn't spend it on whiskey or women. In fact, I couldn't even afford the license to legally marry your ma. Pa the young man stammered, Do you know what that makes me yet? 
said the old man fingering the $50, and a cheap one, too. Do you have any humor surrounding R. Kelly? This is from his first trial. Well, how about this? R. Kelly has been found not guilty of having sex with a minor, by a jury in Chicago. Okay, found not guilty, yeah. Apparently, the R stands for really lucky, is what it stands for. I think R. Kelly is getting her a little cocky. In fact, right after he was acquitted, he said to the judge, Can I get my tape back? I mean, I know it's not me in it, but I would like to have the tape back. Do you realize his child porn case has dragged on since 2002? In fact, do you know what R. Kelly said as soon as the verdict was announced? I'm going to Disneyland. Yeah I am sure he was going to find new victims. Dumboski we are running out of time I am expecting another client. We will have to talk another time. Just turn over a new leaf and be respectful to women okay? Whatever. If it was Bozo you wouldn't be ending session. Are you obsessed with Bozo as well? No I'm just saying. Why didn't R. Kelly catch COVID? R. Kelly would have caught COVID if it were younger. But fortunately for him, COVID is 19. Thank you for visiting Classy J community. If you have not subscribed, please do so now. Like, share and comment on this video. Check out other videos like this in Classy J's R. Kelly playlist. Looking forward to communicating with you. See you in the chat. If you would like to support this channel, please cash at dollar sign Janet A. Queen.